Welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video. So the bag that I'm going to be unpacking and showing you what I've got in it is this bag here. And this is a Chloe Faye dupe bag. Um, I absolutely love it. I've been using it a lot recently. I just think it's so, so nice. It has this like soft velvety material up here and it feels like a kind of leathery feel but it obviously is full leather now it does have the gold chain on it as well which i think is absolutely adorable i absolutely love it and also has the big strap with the adjustable adjustable bit there for to make it longer or shorter so i'm absolutely loving this bag i've been using this a lot recently so yeah this is what i usually take when i go out like every day sort of thing a bag that i just throw on and it has all my kind of essential stuff in there so this is the bag i'm going to be unbagging for you so the bag flips up like this and inside it has three sort of oh, three sort of compartments in it here. It has a front flap bit here, which I don't tend to put anything in that apart from like maybe my passport if I'm carrying it or like uh, notes and any sheets of paper or letters or anything. I do put them in this kind of front bit because it is quite um, narrow. You can't really fit much in there. And then you have like the main bit here, the main bulky bit in here, which holds a lot of my stuff in it. And then I have a bit in the back here, which I have. What do I have in here? Um, have a bunch of other random stuff in here a couple of makeup bits as well so i'm going to show you what's in the bag so i like that it has three little compartments in it there it's really great to separate your stuff again you can't really use the front bit but anyway i really really like this bag i love everything about it so yeah so i'm just going to start with the main bit there's nothing in the front bit so i'm just going to start with the main bit and as you can see here's an overview of what's in it so first of all so first of all i'm going to take my main bulky bit out which is this purse so this purse here is a Louis Vuitton dupe as well. Yep, I'm all about the dupes here. So yeah, this is a lookalike purse for the Louis Vuitton purse and I really really love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, before I go any further, I will leave a link down below in the description box of where I got this bag. I got it on eBay, so I will leave a link to the bag if I can find it. I will leave a link down there for you. This purse here is a dupe for the Louis Vuitton purse. Um, I don't know the name of it, but yeah, I will leave a link. It has double zips in as well. Again, I will leave a link to this down in the description box as well where I got this purse. See, it has two zips on it here, which is lovely. I absolutely think it's enjoyable. And in one side, I have all my sort of cards and money. I don't really need to go through this, I don't think, but I'm maybe do a few. I have a bunch of receipts here from Poundland. Yep, love Poundland. Um, Tesco. And um, what else? Some bank sort of many things and one from Lidl. See I keep a la random little bit of chewing gum in here as well because sometimes when I'm out in the car I don't want to take my bag so I just take my purse and leave the bag in the car and um, so I just take this purse and it has like um, my chewing gum in it and usually I stick my phone in here because the great thing about this purse my phone fits in it, it fits in it perfectly, it's just great and my passport also fits in it as well like it's just a perfect perfect size this purse, I absolutely love this purse and um, so yeah I chunked them in there. And then I have some cards. I've got a bank card. I've got my super drug beauty card. I absolutely love that. You get so much discounts. Um, I have a license and I have my Tesco club card. And then I just have some money in there which you probably cannot see. It's in there somewhere. And then on the other side is where I'm supposed to be keeping here and this other another side of this purse here it has slots for the cards which I should have my cards in but I tend to just keep them in that other big bit because it's easier to get into so I absolutely love this purse and do check it out as well when I leave a link down below because it's great so what else do I have in here I have my phone in here as well so that's there I have my keys and I have a bunch of key rings on it as well I have a key ring I have key rings from some concerts and places that I've visited and this one here is from Florida when I was at Florida. This one here is all about my name. It says Georgina in a few different spellings and it has the meaning on the back there. Um, I have a key ring for Leona Lewis concert, Peter and Andre concert, another Leona Lewis concert, uh, Enrique Iglesias concert and another Peter and Andre concert. And I have another few key rings that I was supposed to put on that from Lanzarote and my Denman little key ring brush, brush thing. So that really needs to go on that as well. I have my little hand cream here I absolutely love this it's a gorgeous gorgeous hand cream it smells amazing it's from Bliss and it's a grapefruit body butter 
hand like moisturizing hand cream stuff oh my god it's just amazing the smell is just i'm going to apply some just now because i absolutely love it i keep it in there because i like to refresh my hands sometimes when i'm out like well all the time really i normally take a little sanitizer with me like hand sanitizer because like, i hate touching money or any like trolleys and stuff like that i always want to kind of wash my hands after so when i'm out there's no taps there so what i normally do is i just take um, a little hand sanitizer with me and and that basically does the trick but i don't have any hand sanitizer just now i'm out so i need to get some of that um, so i carry this little hand cream just now so i also have a little lip product here from nars and it's their lip pure sheer lip treatment and this is spf 15 i think as well or spf spf 15 sun cream sunscreen this is in the shade lara and this is a perfect little lip balm for when you're out like just if you get dry lips when you're out or any your lipsticks may be worn off you don't want to apply any more lipstick this is a great little product just to apply on because it is quite clear it does have a little bit of a tint to it but not much um which is great i absolutely love this little nars lip product i usually keep that on me and it's nice and thin and slim as well so yeah i absolutely love this so i also have my brush here which is my mid you bake brush now and i i think i mentioned this in one of my favorite videos just my last one maybe one before that maybe, um where i said i kept this in my bag all the time well i do i absolutely love this little brush it's really easy to use to dust away any fallout from shadow or anything throughout the day i absolutely love this or any fallout from your mascara i absolutely love using this it's a really really fine kind of soft bristle brush love it so i keep that in there i also have in here my favorite favorite lipstick i absolutely love this lipstick it's just so easy to wear day to night time gorgeous it's so creamy it's so buttery and it says barry m1 and it's in the shade 169 which is truffle shuffle gorgeous gorgeous lip product gorgeous this is it here and i absolutely love this this is just the most creamiest it's like a nudie pink shade with a hint of brown in there gorgeous absolutely perfect for everyday wear and also for night so gorgeous gorgeous product it lasts such a long time on the lips as well and it's so creamy so buttery as always i run and rave about this lipstick so much so do try it because it's amazing and it's so cheap as well from a drugstore it is gorgeous that's barry and shuffle shuffle so that's everything i do have in the main bulky part here so as you can see it's empty now so i'm just going to start on the back bit here because i do have a bunch of stuff in the back bit as well so the first thing i have is my ipod i don't use this enough a lot when i'm out eh, because well the reason why I keep this on me is because when I'm out anywhere my tablet is too big to really fit in this bag so I keep my little iPod on me and that has like everything like for Wi-Fi. If I go anywhere and it has Wi-Fi I can sign into this and do everything I can really do in my tablet. So yeah, I keep this on me and sometimes I listen to music on it but, but I actually don't have any headphones in here so that would be quite pointless. But anyway, so the next thing I do have in here is a little handheld mirror. I've got to have a little handheld mirror on me because I use that with my little Mizzou Bake brush. So yeah, this one here is just from Primark and it is their kind of Kardashian edition little mirror. Inside it, it does have a magnifier side and a normal side, so it's really easy to flip open and close. And it is really slim as well, so it fits perfectly in the back of that bag there because it's really thin, so it just slides in like that. Really, really easy and thin. Gorgeous little mirror as well. And um, I also keep on me this little nail file because many times i'm out and my nails just break or chip and you cannot go around with ragged nail like oh my god it catches on so much stuff when your jackets your clothes your hair or oh, it's it's just annoying when your when your nail splits oh so you need to have a nail file on you i always keep this little one on me so another thing i have in here is this rimmel lip liner i absolutely love this lip liner i run and read about this lip liner all the time as well it's just perfect to go with every lipstick every lip gloss just perfect it's easy, really easy to wear its own as well give yourself a nice plumped natural lip as well gorgeous gorgeous lip liner that is rimmel's exaggerate lip liner in the shade east end snob oh my god it's just perfect you just twist it up and yeah amazing and you can apply it it's so smooth to apply as well great and you don't need to sharpen it or anything like that as well so it's not going to go blunt when you're out so it's a great little lip liner to keep on you so what else do i carry i have another packet of chewing gum in here as well just in case you quite have gum on you you never know who you're going to meet um so i also have a little perfume here sometimes i keep my little um what do you call the, that little atomizer thing spritz thing on me because sometimes kind of bought perfumes too bulky especially for this bag anyway because there's not much room um so i like to keep one of these little rollerball ones and this scent i absolutely love as well oh my god i love this 
one of my favourite perfumes as well and this is, uh, what's it called? He Loves Me and it's from Primark. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Like I'm not sure if Primark still sell this one but if they do, do pick this up because it's gorgeous and it's a lovely perfume to keep in your bag as well. It's a rollerball style so it's really easy to roll onto your neck, onto your wrists and stuff throughout the day. The smell of it is really strong and it lasts a long time as well so yeah, check this little perfume out from Primark. So what else to have in here? I have a bobble which is looking a little bit worse for wear. It's all torn so that can basically go in the bin. Um, you've always got to have a bobble on you because you never know when you need to tie your hair up or it gets annoying or it gets too hot. So what else do I have? Oh yep, yeah, I have my favourite MAC lipstick at the moment. Oh, I've just fell in love with this MAC lipstick and it's made me want to get Oh, lots more of MAC lipsticks, especially in this satin finish. Oh my god, it's amazing. This is Twig. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It's a kind of mauve purpley <laughs> brownie shade. It is gorgeous. Oh my god, it's just amazing. It's so like, moisturising the lips. You literally don't feel like you have anything on your lips. It feels quite velvety. If you don't have it on your lips, but it lasts a long time your lips. It is amazing. Like, it's really easy to wear just every day as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous lipstick. Do check this one out if you haven't got it already. Perfect. That's Twig from MAC. So what else do I have? I think I'm maybe coming to the end now. Yeah, I have a pa packet of paracetamols in there. You always got to have paracetamols as well because you never know when you're going to get a sore stomach or headache or whatever comes over you. So I always keep a little packet of paracetamols with me. So that's everything I think in my bag. I think that's everything hand in. Yep, that's everything that I've been carrying recently. Now, obviously I put some other stuff in there throughout the day or like whatever um, things I put when I'm going anywhere different. But usually that's the stuff that I carry all the time in my bag. Sometimes I do put some sunglasses in there as well. Oh, that's the door, two minutes. Sorry about that there, I just got interrupted, the door went, sorry about that. Um, so where was I? Um, yeah, so this bag I absolutely love, it's amazing. I do put different things in there every now and again as well, depending on what I'm doing that day. But that's the majority of stuff that I always keep in my bag. <sighs> sorry about my breath, I had to run down the stairs. Um, so yeah, I will leave down below in the info box where I got um, my bag from my purse. I'll try and leave a link below if I can, if they're still available, then I will leave it there. Gorgeous, gorgeous bag. They have it in a few different colours as well. I think I might pick up a black one because I absolutely love black bags. And yeah, so that's everything in my bag. I really hope you liked and enjoyed seeing what was in it. I did enjoy filming that. It was quite fun actually. So yeah, please give it a massive thumbs up if you did like and enjoy it. Let me know down in the description box if you did enjoy it. Um, and leave me any comments, any requests for other videos you'd like me to do. Because yeah, I would love to know your input. I would love to know what videos you want to see from me. Um, yeah. So that'd be great. Thanks so much for watching and I will speak to you very soon in my next video. Bye. Mwah.